So in today's video, we are going to be creating something. <laughs> Today we are finally going to do something productive and by we I mean myself um, Hopefully you guys tag along in this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet Please hit the subscribe and also hit like in this video so that other people can come to the channel and see what we're doing And let's get into this. Let's get into what we're gonna create. I am getting organized for the new year I got myself a planner because I don't have time to create my own and trust me I I kind of came to the conclusion that it was just something that I needed to do so I can start creating. I need to get organized and in order to get organized, I need a planner and I can't get a planner because I can't start creating. So it's a vicious circle. So I got my planner. This is going to be my creative corner and we are going to create today. We're going to be creating a cover for this planner. And the first thing that we have to do is take measurements, which is what you see me doing right there. My planner is eight and a quarter by seven and a half, counting the rings. Now I'm going to leave a little bit more room because I expect my planner to grow in all directions, thickness wise, obviously. So originally it's an inch, but I'm going to do two inches and a half for the cover as far as thickness goes. So to quickly recap on the measurements we have here, for my project personally, eight and a little more than I have by eight inches by 2.5 inches. Now you can do whatever measurements you want because this process that we're going to do here applies to all measurements and it does not require really a set of rules. And you can use it for whatever you wish and you can have whatever measurements you want. As long as you have the measurement that will be able to fit whatever you're gonna put inside. Initially, I wanted to make this video about creating an accordion folder, which is what I needed in order to keep me organized with all my planner things. However, that video was lost and I had to move on from that. I also wanted to do a cover. I plan to take my planner everywhere I can. And so I need a cover to keep it you know, secure and make sure that whatever stickers I have in the cover of my planner don't come loose or don't get damaged. So this is why we're here creating this cover. The good news is, like I said before, the process is the same. So the first part of this video is going to be creating the skeleton, if you will, right? The basis of the final product. In the second half of the video, I will show you guys how to do an accordion folder if you wanted to. And then you'll see me finally create the sleeve inside the cover so that I can put my planner in there. As far as what you need, I know you guys are seeing in the video now that I'm using Craftex. Technically, you can use whatever you want that you think will be sturdy enough. Glue, mud patch, preferably designer paper, ruler, and a pencil. I'm now making the folds for the cover. You know, I traced a line with my measurements where I wanted to fold my my cover to make the front part, the bottom part, the back, the top part, and the flap that's going to close. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I actually made a mistake when I put my measurements down. I discovered that when I was folding the, uh, the cover. I ended up having to go back remeasuring one side of the, of, the, of, of the cover, and it ended up actually being... Um, at the end, one centimeter less than it was when I started, which brought it down to eight inches in length. And that's actually what I said at the beginning of the video that was going to be eight inches in length. But that's because I already knew that I had made that mistake. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that because mistakes are often made when you're making projects. Uh, some people more than others might make mistakes um, depending on the way that you work. I'm not necessarily super disciplined when I work, so I make a lot of mistakes, but I'm able to bounce back from them. I'm able to, I mean, use them to my advantage. And that's just something that you're gonna have to learn as you go along when you're creating. right before 
before we start gluing. This is my front, right? This is my bottom. This is where my plant, my bottom, my rings will be here. And there. This is perfect for my piano. It actually is actually a lot more than um there. Actually a lot more than it's supposed to be, but that's fine. That's completely fine. And that is see, there's a lot left right there but it's fine because i can put in there um a very small pencil holder and put you know like my 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 pens and stuff like that if i wanted to this won't fit in there yeah this won't fit but one of those little tubes pencil holders i've seen them around and you just put like one or two pencils in there i can fit that in there so this is this is perfect this is perfect okay and that's how it, that's how it's gonna go now we have actually come to the fun part of the project and that is decorating it however you can still make lots of mistakes during this part of the project and i actually did make a huge huge mistake it wasn't so bad that i had to start you know from scratch thank god i was able to just move on from that mistake but I just wanted to let you guys know that even though we're having fun gluing down the paper, you still can make mistakes, so be mindful of that. I gave you guys was to um, fold as you're gluing, right? As you're gluing, fold. That way your paper does not crease, right? Like it didn't crease over here. See how beautiful that folded? And when you have it like this, this is what it looks like, right? You see creases. This one, I didn't do that. I forgot because my baby was crying and I was nervous um, and kind of like in a hurry to go pick him up. And my paper, you're gonna see it right there. When I came back, I was like, oh crap. So now I'm trying to cover that a little bit. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some sort of um, marker or paint, and I'm just gonna dab there just to cover it. But this is for me, so I don't worry about it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this in here and finish it right there, right there. and glue right there. I have to. I already glued there. So messy but one thing that's good about mud patch is that it's a water-based glue so you don't have to worry about it destroying your paper you just got to clean it a little bit now I'm gonna use the other mud patch to seal it so I really don't care if I get mud patch all over so again let's see when I close it perfect that's perfect no one's gonna find out. 
No one's even gonna notice. I'm gonna cover that even with stickers. I'm gonna do a bunch of fun stuff to this cover. So no one will notice that um, that, that happened there. I'm gonna put this again. This one here, and we're, we're done. Here's how it's looking. Here's how it's looking, everything. Okay, I managed to take care of my folds here. Like we discussed earlier, my folds here got messed up. So I had to fix it and it looks pretty good. You can't even notice anything unless you're like scrutinizing everything to the last detail. But like I said, I'm going to cover things with stickers. So I might just put something here on the bottom and cover that. So now that we got everything done, this is our front, our bottom, our back, our top and our flap right now that we got everything done we are going to put our inside paper and this is how you're going to cover it you're going to cover it this much like that if you want to do the expandable folder or uh, accordion folder right this is how you close it right this is your this is how you close your flap that's your top you have everything done already now you need to put the accordion from here to here you don't need to glue down in the bottom the way you're gonna do the accordion is very simple so for example and I'm gonna take here, I'm gonna do it with a magazine paper just because I don't wanna do it with the paper I'm using to create my, my, um, my sleeve. So let's say this one, look, this one's pretty good because this one is about the same width as my uh, folder my cover so we're, let's say this is how long I want it to be right let's say it's the same length same length as your cover same width so this is how you're gonna do it you're gonna fold it in the middle right this is the way you're gonna create your accordion you're gonna fold it in the middle right and then You're gonna bring it like this, right? So you have folded in the middle. Then you're gonna get your paper, bring it up to the middle. You meet the middle. You're gonna bring the other side and you meet the middle again, right? Okay, so you're gonna glue this area to your expandable folder like that. And then you're gonna glue this area to this, to the, to the back. So you glue, glue one area to the front, one to the back, and that will be your accordion. You can put a divider here. And obviously this doesn't have any more because it's not as long, so you wouldn't have any more. But if you make it longer, this will be another divider and then you can just continue to, you can fold it more, right? So you can continue to add dividers. And it's gonna look like this one. gonna look like this one see see I glued it there that's a fold that's another fold so one fold two three four five six seven eight uh, and nine with this one so nine folds created one two and three dividers and I have one two three four compartments 
in this folder. All right, and you're gonna do the same that you did here. You're gonna do it to the other side. And when you're gonna get ready to glue it, you're gonna glue both accordions. Okay, I put it this way. You're gonna glue both accordions on one side first. You're gonna make sure it's very glue in there, very sturdy. And then you're gonna glue it to the other side when this is dry. You're gonna glue it to the other side at the same time. That way you don't mess up. Now for dividers, right? I'm gonna hold this. All I did was fold my paper. That's it, that's all I did. I didn't glue my paper, nothing. And all I did was put it in there. The paper is the same length as my front. So when I put it in there, my fold, it's there, right? It holds it together and nothing happens. The reason why I said it doesn't have to go all the way to the bottom is because your divider will, will go all the way to the bottom. See, your divider meets the bottom. And that's it. You don't need to glue anything else. It would look like this. If you are just here for the accordion folder, that's it. You can go ahead and go about your business and create your accordion folder. If you wanna see how I create my sleeve, and this is totally new for me, I'm gonna do it for the first time. Stick around and we shall see, okay? We shall see. of gluing this like this right and then using this here like that because I don't need it to be too big it doesn't have to be big I mean it doesn't have to be that wide um, it just got to be able to fold okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue this and for the time being I'm gonna put this aside For the sake of it, I'm just gonna use the same glue. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever glue you want to use. You're gluing a piece of paper. It's just glue.
I kind of want to dry it now. Oh my gosh. Please work, work, work. Here we go. It is not going to work. It kind of, it kind of works. Kind of does work. There. Okay, I put it in, right? There. See? And then I will fold this to, I will just put it like this. So, yeah, I have a lot of, <laughs> I have a lot of leverage, but that's okay. That's okay. You can, if you're trying, if you're going to try to do this, you can actually make it more to the, a little bit less, maybe two inches is enough. Maybe two inches is quite enough. Yeah, because that's about an inch and a half. So maybe two inches is quite enough. Maybe, maybe having, maybe having uh, two inches and a half was way too much. But this is what I want. This is what I want out of this. I can just work on my journal like this, right? Without, right? Without having to worry about taking it out. And, and then when I want to take it out, I just need to do that. And it, out it comes. Out it comes. I just need to make sure. Yeah, this is it. Let's go ahead and open the hole right here. I can never open the hole in the middle. I don't know where my middle is. I don't want to mess it up this time around. So I'm going to go ahead and find my middle right there. This is my middle. So. I'm gonna do it right there. And that's it. I'm not gonna even worry about it. I'm just gonna do it. And I did it. it is that you want it for maybe you want this to be um photo album what i would do is i would buy me a ring binder and just put it in there just put the ring binder in here and you would have a photo album with a sleeve and everything a journal so the signatures in here or attach those signatures to here with glue a uh, suitcase i would buy me a handle right and you attach it on here on the top, right? And create a huge sleeve, right? Or, or sew a sleeve like made of fabric and put it in. You can close it like this. You can even put like a little lock in here and everything. I mean, you can use this for so many different things. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. How many things you can use this for? It's just crazy. Alright, I got the stickers in there. But now, there you have it. I'll see you guys in the next video.